Good luck. Here we go. Remember cold tires for the first two laps. 30 seconds. Starting the pace lap for the three hours of Longford. Let's take it nice and easy. There's already a car off. Norgan is going to recover it. Smoke going down towards that little underpass is usually a bad thing. Just been trying to hang with uh, Emery ahead. I have pretty much sat at 1.4 seconds for the first three laps. A little bit closer now. All three of us kind of pipped together now. Off quest a little bit wide. I'm gonna get him. That's up to fourth, still behind Emery, who is now in third. So this is officially a battle for the final podium spot. Right on Emery on the lower down floor, so he does pull away on the straight. We went for a slightly different down floor setup than the top guys here on the assumption that we would be more stable in the race, especially as the tires wore. That might come to fruition here. Does appear to be a little bit struggling in the braking zones. This is going to be tight here going down to the bridge. Very loose, very loose. That was loose, actually. Oh my god, I cannot believe I just saved that. That should have been into the fence. Onto the grass. Huge lateral load and braking. Man, that was risky. My heart's gone up about 50 beats per minute. Okay, got the live races back. There will be some GT traffic soon. Three of them. Okay. Again, huge moment. Jesus. Locked up slightly, I think, one of the tires, and it offset the entire car. In trouble. Oh, and Norgan, yeah. Almost had an accidental move. Yeah, Marie right on the GT car. Had to lift. Give Emery the space. Not wide enough to keep it full throttle and swing around anywhere. This is literally a two lane country road. Uh, Norgan is good. If you have an off pace slow up on the track, so be careful. That's Norgan, he's in trouble.
Oh, I sided up on the grass. Lose several tenths doing that down the straight. You need the speed coming out of there for this long straight, and Emery's going to be able to get that GT car. I am not. I'm going to have to get him on the run down to T1, which is not a fun place to do it unless I can seriously put some pace on this GT car here. Alright, that went a little better than expected. Did not mean to cross in front of him that soon, I apologize for that car is not exactly a modern prototype under braking. Oh my god! Emery has definitely picked up the pace and can't quite match it. Alright, uh, looking good for now. Just run off. No damage. Okay, that's good. What's your tire wear? 92% on all tires, but I just locked up the left front pretty substantially. It's vibrating now. That is the first signs of tire wear. Uh, you need to slightly adjust your driving at uh, braking points. And I need your fuel uh, amount right now. 96. So we have a perfect amount uh, until the end of the spin, plus uh, 4 liters of reserve. You're faster than memory on sector 1, but you're losing time in sector 2. And sector 3 is times that are pretty even. Something happened to Emery? Yeah, he, uh, he, I think he spun on that corner. Emery only nine seconds ahead now. Uh, fighting with the Cody. Okay, GT car coming out of the pits, and second place GT ahead. Tight! See if we can sneak down the GT car. It's gonna actually let us through, so thank you for that. So tight. Oh, Emery spun. Right into second, Emery under the bridge. Might have some damage after that as well. No, 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 no. Absolute fail. I went off. I went off. I went off. Emery did too. He followed me. Fail. Ah, uh, huge fail. Any damage? I don't think so actually. Nothing shows up on the pit screen, so nothing repairable. Tires have just cliffed and I wasn't ready for it.
God dang it. Alright, spun. God dang it. Are you serious? Twenty-seven point seven in the tank. Okay. I get stuck behind the GT car over the bridge. No room to go anywhere. Sucks because Emery did seem a little bit slower up ahead. Despite losing all this time, I actually gained a tenth on Emery, so we'll see what we can do. Ah, it's bad. Terrible place to catch the GT car. We're pitting this lap or next lap? Yeah, pit this lap. Oh, you gotta select my name? Yep, yeah, I got 106. I can't do 164. I got 165, four tires, and your name selected. Okay, that's fine. It's 11 second gap to Emery. And no repairs, right? No repairs. Four seconds. Good stuff. Not bad. Good job, by the way. Yeah, it was a little bit of a shaky ending, but yeah. That was good. We got uh, almost two laps to fourth. So it's just a battle between second. I think we can get them. I just made a couple too many mistakes. We're the first prototype to pit. Okay. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, clear behind. First place in the pits, too. Alright, so John has taken over. I'm gonna be hopping out of the server in just a few moments. Just wanna get him through his first lap, see if anything comes up. In the battle for second, it's going pretty well. Bit of a shaky ending to my stint, but it was a good stint. Um, started fifth, brought it in third, should have been second, but you know, did have some offs, ran through some trees, um, the hay bales around some trees, that is, and uh, did not have any repairable damage, so that's good. So before I hop out, let's take a look. David Hart now in the lead prototype, uh, Emery actually. They're actually going at it here. Emery has taken the lead. Emery has not stopped yet, but... He has taken the lead on those worn tires. He's going for a longer stint, and yeah, David Hart has not been able to get out of the pits and get ahead of him. He's obviously on full fuel as well. So if you've ever wondered what playing the engineer role looks like, it looks a bit like this. We get live racers up, we got the live track map. We can see the timing and scoring on the right side here, so... Um, we see that John is in third. We see the gap to the leader and the gap to the next car. It's a very good gap to the next car, actually. And actually, so Emery's in the pits. Yeah, we have uh, no pressure from behind at all. And first has kept the pace up. So no worries. Just bring it home. All right. So good job to David Hart leading and finishing with Rickard P1 in prototype. We brought it home second. So first and second results for us on the season. Very well done. We will continue to lead the championship as well. And Angelo bringing home the win in GT along with our teammates, Brian and Jules, bringing home second in GT. So a good run overall. See you guys next time.